Ah, I'm gonna go play some League of Legends. Nice. Hey guys, Trouble here. Today I'm doing a tutorial on auto logging into League of Legends and Valorant like you saw in the intro. I'll give you an example of what it does here. As you can see, I didn't have to type anything. It automatically inputted my username and password and clicked enter for me, automatically logging me in, double clicked on the icon. And here I am in my main account, stuck in gold two. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna have to do, because it's a PowerShell script, we're gonna have to change the execution policy. So you can go ahead and type in the start menu, PowerShell. We're gonna wanna click on this one right here without the ISC or the ISC x86. That's gonna open up one of these windows. Now I've got the code right here. Uh, you're basically just gonna type in get dash execution policy. This for you guys should say restricted. There's gonna be a link in the description on how to set it to unrestricted, but you're gonna need that in order to run scripts on your computer using PowerShell. Now, this can be a little bit dangerous because it means that any PowerShell script is able to run, but you shouldn't have any problems with it as long as you're not downloading random things you shouldn't be downloading. Once that's done, we should be able to open up our PowerShell ISC and start coding the scripts. All right, now you can go ahead and copy and paste the code that I have in the description into your ISC. Once you've done that, I'm gonna go through each line to show you what it's doing and what you're gonna to need to input. So the first part is just a comment explaining what the program does. This line is just an import, so you can just copy and paste that and not have to worry about it for now. The next part is the part we're gonna to have to input. In the username variable, we're gonna put in the username. In the password variable, we're gonna put in the password. These are completely safe as nobody else is gonna be able to see them unless they read this code. So make sure you put this somewhere that nobody's going to look into it. This one, this variable, the path variable, is where we're going to put the path to the game that we're starting. I think I have mine on my desktop. Users. Lad. Desktop. League of Legends. LNK. I guess I should put a capital L there. You can go ahead and find out where the path to your game is and just input it in there as well. Now this line is gonna start the path, which is this, so it's gonna start League of Legends. Then we're gonna wait for six seconds. You might have to increment this down or up, uh, decrement it or increment it based on how fast your computer is. I give my computer about six seconds because sometimes it's faster, but sometimes it's slower. The next part, is the part where we're going to do a send key. Now this is going to send in our information, our username variable, um, into whatever is activated right now, which is going to be League of Legends. So once it puts in our username, it's going to sleep for one second or 0.1 seconds, and then it's going to input a tab. What this tab does is it goes to the next line where the password is, then it's going to sleep again, and then insert our password, then sleep again, and then press enter, and then exit the program. Okay. Now that you've got your program um, and it's saved into the desktop, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna close this, and we're gonna move it into um, a folder that I made called auto login. The reason for this is because we're gonna make a couple um, starters for that, um, just like I have right here, and we're gonna need them to be in their own folder. Now, we're gonna open this folder up, and I want you to hit view, and then hidden items and file name extensions. This is important for the next step. Now we're going to create a text document. You can call this um, Open League of Legends. Dot CMD. It's important that we change the extension name so that it's not a text file but a command uh, file. When you do this, it's going to prompt you asking if you're sure you want to change this file extension name. We're gonna click yes. 
now that we've made one, we're going to right click it and then click edit. Here we have another box. Now you can go ahead and paste in the information that is in the description as well. It's going to look like this. Now when you do so, um, we're going to have to create our own um, folders for each one that you're going to have. So you can go ahead and exit there and save it. And we will create a League of Legends folder. Don't need the word folder there. We're going to put these two in there. And we're going to do the same thing for Valorant. Now once that we have these two here, and uh, those are ready to go, we're going to create a shortcut on our desktop. So you can go ahead and right click on your desktop, click new, and then click shortcut. We're going to browse the location and we're going to go to the CMD file that we just made, which is going to be in auto login League of Legends, open League of Legends .cmd. You can click OK, click next, and we're just going to exit this because that's just the name of the shortcut. And we're going to hit finish. Now, once you have the shortcut, it's going to look like this. Now, we want the, the nice League of Legends logo for it. So, we're going to click on the League of Legends logo, right click it, click properties, change icon, and we're going to copy this uh, path right here. Go ahead and click Control C, exit here, and we're going to right click our, uh, our new function. Click Properties, Change Icon, click OK. And then in here, we're going to Control Control A to control it all, to uh, highlight it all, delete it, and then paste in what we just copied before. This is going to paste in the logo for League of Legends. You can hit OK, Apply, and OK, and it's going to change it. And now when we open it, when we double click it, it's going to auto log in for us each time. And now we're done. Thanks so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe and like button for more cool content.